Meanwhile, the U.S. State Department will now check your Instagram before it grants you a visa. Hopefully that filter looks good on me. The U.S. will now require almost all visa applicants to submit their social media usernames and any account usernames that they might have had over the last five years, all as part as the Trump administration is expanding extreme vetting procedures. Visa applicants will also need to provide five years of email addresses and phone numbers. In the past, only those flagged for additional vetting would have had to list their accounts. Now the new rule will affect nearly all of the 15 million travelers and immigrants to the U.S. who require visas. I don't understand the social media aspect of this. Like, what, what is it? Is it going to prove that maybe somebody did something nefarious one day <laughs> on their Facebook years ago, and that's going to be a reason why you deny them a visa? Like, I get an email address to contact, and I get yeah. where you're, like, looking back in their, you know, residential history, but social media background seems like it has nothing to do with you coming into the country, whether or not you, like, posted what you ate for lunch on your Instagram. Yeah, I mean, that's the big question. They haven't defined what they're actually looking for right. and it's going to be important for the administration to uh, highlight these things and ensure that they're not looking for things that could be considered discriminatory. Mm -hmm. The ACLU has expressed a lot of concern. They said there's a risk of targeting people from Muslim majority countries, for example. Um, they've said this is chilling freedom of speech and association because people will now have to wonder if what they say online will be misconstrued or misunderstood by a government official. But the platforms that they list are pretty comprehensive. Um, they include Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, even Weibo, of course, the mm -hmm. social platform in China. So there seems to be no escaping, right? Yeah, but I do wish, though, for like your uh, for your passport, they would accept your Instagram photos as your passport photo for me, because I feel like every person's passport photo is miserable, and you have to hold on to it for ten years, and then when you have to renew it, you're oh, like, yeah. God, I look so different ten years ago. If they could just let me choose a good Instagram photo with a hot filter on it, I would be very happy.